Hello everyone! Today we're going to talk about another great tool from Teacher's Toolbox, Early Childhood Teacher Toolbox, called uh, Fellboard. So this Fellboard is easy to make. Uh, I used uh, a little bit of uh, felt or flannel, I uh, bought it in Spotlight, so just um, a shop. Yeah, so I cut probably a meter or so, and then I used a, a picture frame to make my own felt board like this with staples. So sometimes you can use glue, sticky tape to secure it, but it's very, very easy to make as long as you have a frame and as long as you have a piece of material. So this felt board is wonderful for group times because it's uh, easy to see, so it's like a big board book. And also you can tell stories, so why don't you just read books? So the art of storytelling um, is one of the important arts that teachers should have, especially if you're working with children under five. Um, all the children also enjoy storytelling sessions, especially or oral storytelling. However, felt board is a great prop. So it helps you to tell the story using some kind of pictures or props. So I use uh, felt, obviously, because it's a felt board. Felt board uh, is wonderful because felt pieces stick to it. So as you can see, this is a tree I made. So And then the um, uh, story might begin with a tree. So you can add some leaves, yeah, so that I made as well. So the leaves might start falling down. You might have some uh, bushes. You might have a rock. Yes, yeah, so, and you might have a mushroom somewhere here. So this is a fantastic way to introduce your story and also grab children's attention because they need to see something when you tell the story. So it's really great for singing songs, finger plays, and just um, traditional stories as well. Uh, for example, um, today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this felt board for singing five little speckled frogs so for this song we need some pond i might put it this way what else do we need we need some log yeah so where frogs gonna sit we need some bushes on the other side and we will have one frog yeah another frog and another frog another frog and a uh, last one so we have five frogs yeah you can ask children how many frogs are there you can ask them to count you can ask them who knows who is that so it's very interactive as you can see so really great for pre-service teacher and practicing early childhood teachers i made these frogs using stickers so it's very easy to make uh, so just stickers and pieces of felt so stickers now are everywhere but I really prefer making my own felt pieces, like uh, cutouts. However, I'm not a really good drawer, so I use books how to draw simple things as well. So, or stickers. Yeah? So, let's get started. So, before you start, you usually grab children's attention. For example, that's what I do. Um, I sing a song. It might be a Montessori song about uh, listening, or it might be uh, some kind of attention grabber. For example, eyes on the floor eyes on the roof, eyes on the door, and eyes on the board. Yeah, so just uh, to grab attention. Um, so this is a story about five little speckled frog. Ready? Five little speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool, where it was nice and cool. Now... There are four little speckled frogs. Four little speckled frogs sat on the speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum! One jumped into the pool, where it was it nice and cool? Where it was nice and cool. So as you sing, make sure that you do interact with children. So then you will have uh, three speckled frogs and can ask them how many frogs are here and how many frogs are in the pond. And then you will have another one jumping into the pool and then another one. And finally, you will have one little speckled frog who's sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. 
one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool yeah and then then we will have one little speckled frog set on a speckled log eating some most delicious grubs yum yum one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool now there are no green speckled frog frogs glub glub so yeah, uh, it's a really great story and really great for counting. So once you finished uh, telling the story, what I usually do, I set up a play space. So using something like that, so a holder, so a bamboo holder. So I place my board, so the way that children can actually interact with the story, as you can see, and um, they can... Um, use um, these uh, same uh, resources for retelling the story and practicing so which is uh, amazing um, for repetition and learning the song and also creating their own story because they uh, might actually find some twists here yeah, so that you didn't find or um, retell the story in a funny way uh, that is encouraging language developing um, and um, Language development and uh, for bilingual children it might be a really great tool for singing in their language. So they might find similar song that they know in their native tongue and they will be singing. So I hope you enjoyed Felboard. I will um, show more stories um, as we go. But that's really a must to have if you are uh, about to start your degree in early childhood or if you are going to do a diploma certificate 3 or if you are actually working as a relief teacher and uh, that's a fantastic thing to take with you very portable and wonderful i hope you enjoyed uh, this little um, how-to <laughs> workshop so and i'll see you again